Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really big 12 by 12 by 6 gift bag. So I wanted to use the whole front of a 12 by 12 piece here. So I've got this lovely piece with love on it and I just didn't want to cut into it. And I wanted to make these lovely size gift bags. You can see they are massive. So it's a six inch inside, six inch um, side here, sorry, six inch base, and then 12 inch, 12 inch in length and 12 inch in height. And the whole thing folds completely flat. So this is a shop brought size gift bag. You can see there against my hands, it's just huge. And these are gonna be so handy. So I've made these for what I need. So that's why they're the size that they are but you can adapt easily the width inside and your base um, as well. But you wanna keep the 12 by 12. So this is perfect if you've got maybe quite a lot of um, uh, 12 by 12 papers that you're maybe not using. You can really clash and use all different si um, styles. So I've got this on the front and then on the back, it's, it's all from the same paper pack, which I'll show in a minute, but I've got that. Then on the side, it's different again, and on the base, it's different. So but like I said, you know, you might have some lying around, you might have some scrapbook pages, because this was one of the ones in the paper pack, which there isn't much you can do with, apart from maybe put it in a frame, scrapbook it, or keep it whole and do something like I'm doing. So, um, but I just love it. And again, if you, you know, like to make everything and not buy it, then this is perfect, because this is a really, really large gift bag. Finished it off with little eyelets there at the top. And then I use, I recycle my handles, which I buy from, you know, when I'm doing my normal shopping. Um, so I just put these through and again it just gives that really nice finished professional look as well and then I've got some tassels using leftovers of the matching papers and then this was another tag from the pack um, which I've just put a little eyelet through which you can just see there and then again that's ready now to just write my little message on and give to the person so I've got two of these so I'm going to be doing exactly the same again today so I'll just bring this one here Okay, so I've cut everything down and prepared all of it. This one I've done my tassels already. I'll share the links to the tassel tutorials um, so you can revert to that. But there's the two that I've done, again, using the leftover scraps. So try not to, you know, have that much waste because I'm aware that obviously a lot of card is used to make these. Now you need two hinges. I'll talk you through the sizes of that. And then I've got my side panels are going to be this lovely foiled pattern. And then my base is this one here. So again, all from the same pack. That's another one of the cards, which I've just cut. I've just rounded off the edges and popped an eyelet there. And then there's the other one. So that is it. That's the whole 12 by 12 from the paper pack. And it's just gorgeous. And then that's going to be my back. So I've just pulled out the detail from the behind the love there, which is this same design you can see all the foiled on it as well so it's again stunning so this is the one um, it's um, a craft uh, craftsmith paper pack it's from 2016 I got it on sale um, again I'll look for any sale um, any links that I can find for you but you can use obviously any paper packs you can but if you do have this one or you can still get hold of craft smith um, this particular one then then brilliant but any good paper packs will have beautiful foil papers you know I love true and craft they have loads um, and then if you have any of these kind of I call like scrapbooking pages like that that's where I cut my tags from okay and these are what I used as like journaling cards for your scrapbooking layouts and stuff like that so um, it's just another way to use it in gift bags and you know 3d box making it doesn't always have to be scrapbooking so that's the paper pack there okay so you don't need to do anything with your 12 by 12 so you need to choose your 12 by 12 for your front and your 12 by 12 for your back so those are my two there okay I don't need to do any scoring or nothing they are going to just stay as they are then for your base, you need a piece of eight by 12. And along the eight inch side, you're gonna score at one inch and seven inches. So all you're gonna have is just burnish over the edges there. You're just gonna have two one inch hit out kind of sides like that. So that's what you wanna do, just fold it up, okay? So again, along the eight inch side, score at one and seven and burnish. Then you're gonna have two of your side pieces to so choose what you want for your sides. And again, these are gonna be eight by 12. And this time what you want to do, I've already prepared that one ready. So along the eight inch side, you're gonna again score at one 
and seven inches. And then you're going to flip onto the 12 inch side and you're going to score at three. Then you're going to flip back again and you're going to score at four inches down to that three inch score line that we just created. Okay, then once you've done that, get rid of your scoreboard and then you will need your ruler, which is grab my other metal one. Now all you want to do is from the bottom of this score line here to that three inch score line, you're just going to score to these one inch score lines on either side. And this is just going to give us the, um, okay, and by doing those score lines, it's now going to allow us to be able to fold the bag flat, as you can see I've done on this one. So once you've done this twice, because you'll need two pieces, just go and burnish all of those score lines. And then fold this one in like so. I'm going to pinch it just up to that three inch one. And as you pinch it down, you can see it kind of starts to come out. And just work in those other score lines like so. Okay, you can see how. So just fold it like that in half to that one and then it will just start to kind of fall into place with all the others and then those will fold outwards okay now I've got this uh, one inch um, double sided tape which is the scotch brand I'll just bring it up there which I really love so I've just put a whole one inch strip along the sides there so I just need to do the same on this one here okay just always make sure your double sided tape is perfectly adhered to the paper. Okay, so that's all nicely stuck down. And then just with your scissors, just take a tiny bit off of the ends, just a little wedge there, just off of all of them, just so you don't get anything overhanging. Okay, so you will have your two sides, okay, all ready like that. Then with your base, so that was the other piece, that was the eight by 12. Sorry, I'm losing these ones here, let's pop them there. You want to add that same double-sided tape or glue. Um, if you're using glue, then you'll do that in a minute because I'll be showing you the, the step-by-steps to put it all together. But double-sided tape down the two hinges here of your base. Okay, so it will be like so. And then with the one back piece, I said you didn't need to do any scoring, but you do need to do one score line. So let's just grab my scoreboard. If it's directional, make sure that you've got your paper facing this, um, sorry, I mean this is, direct, this is directional so it doesn't matter, basically I'm going to score it three inches, that's now going to be the bottom, so whatever pattern you've got you want to make sure it's facing this way, and then you've got this three inch score line, so pop it sideways so your print is facing this way, score at three inches, and then when we turn it, because that now is what we're going to be doing to fold, like so and then that will help the, bowl, the the bag will fold flat that way, okay? So now we can put it all together. Okay, so first of all, you want your base and your front and back. So get rid of your two side pieces. So with your base, I've already popped my tape on, everything's all nicely stuck down. I'm just gonna grab my, everything flying out at me at the minute. Take my backing off. And this is going to be my front one that I'm sticking down first. So push that down flat. And then with your piece of 12 by 12, I'm using my kind of hand there to keep that side down, okay, while I'm holding my card. And then you just want to make sure they should marry up perfectly. So just get your end of your card, your, bait, your top card, and just make sure it's nice and in line with the bottom there. And it will just completely marry up the other end there. If you've got a little bit overhanging like I have there, I'm just going to turn it over and just snip that little wedge to just get rid of any little bits there. And you can see, okay, so that is now the front and we've got the base coming together. So turn it around and again, just burnish that down just to keep it folded over more to that side. Take off your backing. And then with this piece, which is that piece that we've done the three inch score line, which is folded again, exactly the same way, just holding that end down with my the side of my hand and just start off from this corner. Again, just making sure 
and it all follows nicely along the bottom. And again, just go over it, making sure that's all nice and secure. So now we've got our front and our back, and then that would fold flat like so, and this piece folds in that three inch score line, okay? So you can see now it's a very, it's a deconstructed gift bag. So now we need to bring in our side pieces here and also our hinges, which I totally forgot to tell you about. Let's get those ready as well. So your hinges, you need two pieces that are two by, one, two, three, four, five, two by six. Okay, two by six. And along the two inch side, you're gonna score it one inch down through the middle and then just fold it in half. And that's gonna create these hinges. Now on the back side here, I've again, popped this half, this um, one inch double sided tape on both sides there of my hinge. Okay, so now with those hinges, open up your gift bag, start from one side here, take off one side of the backing, and then again, I would fold it in half and just line up the whole thing like so. Okay, you can see now we've got that hinge on the side piece there. So do the same, flip it over, and do it now on this side. Okay, so you should have these two hinges on both sides with double-sided tape on this side as well now, ready to do our side panels. So now, grab one of your side pieces, and with the three-inch score line and the triangle scoring, that's the bottom, we're going to stick this to this. So, also, another little um, trick and something that I've done is, if you when you're doing these bags that fold flat, some of your card might not be so good, it may be prone to cracking. From the inside, if you just run some sellotape really neatly inside it, no one's gonna see this, it's gonna be inside, but it would just mean that it gives your bag a bit more stability and a bit more longevity, you know, especially if you're keeping it in storage or you're opening it and closing it a lot. By doing that, it will keep those strong. It's like putting in like a Tyvek or something, it's a non-rip fabric, so it will just stop that tearing. This card is very good but because it's foiled, I wasn't sure if maybe over time with that pressure in that corner there. So just a little trick there, just pop some sellotape on the insides, okay? So now take off your backing here. And again, I'm gonna fold this one over. And you're basically ignoring the side tabs. You're lining up this tab with the whole six um, inches of this pattern paper, not this. So don't, don't stick it like that, you wanna stick it exactly in the middle so I'm just going to again line this one up and just make sure it's all flush at the bottom like so okay this is very similar to the other big bags that I've made um, it's just we're having to add the hinges because um, I've done 12 by 11 or 12 by 10 I think in the past but I've never done a 12 by 12 in height okay so and then again, make sure that's all nicely stuck down where have my, where did I just put that? I see I can't see where I put anything underneath my uh, paper. There we go. I'm just gonna take the backing off again. And then grab that same piece, make sure it's the bottom piece with the triangles and just again, line that one up. Okay, so now you should have your two side pieces like this. <laughs> you just make it out with your side pieces facing inwards. And then I've got my back here with the three inch score line and the front, which is that big piece with nothing, nothing scored on it. So I'm gonna start with the back. So I'm gonna hold, fold this piece up here. All right, bring this up and you want this tab facing inwards, uh, folded inwards. And I'm just gonna take off my backing, okay? And what I would suggest is just tack the bottom, just lining it up and then you can kind of hold the rest of the card up, making sure it meets the top. Pull it really taut, and then just go along and stick it down. And then if you pop it on this side with your bone folder, just go and flatten that tab inside, making sure it's all nicely stuck down. Now if I bring that up, can you see we've got a perfect join, and that three inch score line on the back will marry up with the three inch score line that we've done here, just at the top of the triangle folds that we've got there. So that's that side. So now <laughs> we need to do the, this side here. So again, I'm just gonna take off my backing. 
hopefully you can see all this well enough and you can see what it is that you've got to do. It is pretty self-explanatory once you've got the base and everything kind of stuck on the bottom. The sides are all pretty straightforward. So again, just tack the bottom, making sure the kind of three inch score lines meet up because that means you'll get a nice fold when we fold it flat. And then I just pull it really taut up to the top and then the rest will line up like so. Now if you've got a little bit that comes over, so if you see just here, I've got a very, very tiny bit, just grab your snips and just very carefully take that off. And then you can just, just take a little slither off just to kind of line it back up again. No one's going to notice that. So that is my back all stuck. Okay. Then you want to do the same with the front. So again, those two pieces are going to fold down and then stick, and then there is the box. So you can see how it all comes together inside. So again, I'm just going to open this one up, take the backing off of here, fold this one over. You can do both at the same time if you want. I'm not, I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to do one at a time. So again, I'm just going to pull it right up to the top this time and then the rest I can just pop in and just make sure yeah, I'm pulling it in underneath get that all lined, lined up. Take your time with it, turn it over again and with your bone folder just get that all nicely stuck now. Okay, you see now I've got a nice Corner. It looks so nice with these, um, you know, uh, different uh, papers. It's nice to have it all kind of um, clashing. And then again, I've just taken that one off and just just tack it slightly on the bottom there. And then you can kind of just work your way up along the sides until you get to the top. Like so again, turn it over. And I've got an, another little bit that's just kind of coming over the top there, so I'm just going to see there, start from there and kind of blend it across so it's all nice. Okay, now because you've already worked those score lines with the triangle bits on the back, if you put your finger, push your finger like so, start getting it all in and then kind of bring the back and bring it up like so, and then the whole thing will fold flat. Okay, and just make sure you've got nice, yeah, it's all in there. And you can kind of just go and work your score lines all in. And now they're perfect for storing. You can see there on the side. So we've got a huge gift bag. So now I just need to add my tassels and my tag and make my hole punches. So what I'm going to do is bring in my pin pad here. And then I came in at um, four inches from each side. Now, because the um, pliers that I've got here for the eyelet can only go in, go down so far, that it was going to go right over the rose kind of rose gold trim there border, which I didn't want to do. So I'm going to come up here. Okay. So go down as far as that goes, really. It's about one inch, but I'm going to come in at four inches from each side and I'm going to keep it within that top um, kind of area here. Okay, so four inches, and again, four inches, which is about there, like so. Then what I can do is take the pin pad out and then just mark the holes through the bottom there as well. And then I'm going to use this one to create my holes so, and again, on the back, and then I've got all my eyelets here. Do you know what? I haven't got rose gold, and I haven't even seen any rose gold. Rose gold? Rose gold, but I'm just going to use silver. It was fine. It's such a small amount, and it went better than putting gold with it. I'm just going to pull out four silver ones there, and then you just want to carefully kind of wedge them in because they will fit perfectly within those holes and then grab your pliers and 
Not that one. Use that one. Just do the same on the back. And the last one there on the back. So if I just bring that up, you can just see, you just get such a nice finish. And because this is a big bag, you're gonna have something bigger and heavier in it. You want to have um, a strong uh, hole there that's gonna be able to withhold any kind of pressure. So now these ones here, are again, just ones that I've saved. You can put obviously normal ribbon through this. It doesn't matter if you don't have these, but um, just feed it through the back there. And then I've got my gift tag. And I want that one about there, so I'm just going to loop that one straight around, actually. I don't need to worry about knotting that one. Like so. And then this one I want a bit shorter, so I'm just going to knot that one. And then cut the top. And then knot it around this, so that nothing moves around. So, and then I can just tie a nice bow like so. And there you have it. Nice tag already. These are going to be looking fantastic once they're filled. I'm going to have tissue kind of coming out the top so they're going to look great. So there you have it. It's two very very big shop brought size gift bags. 12 by 12 by 6. The biggest ones I've made so far. I will share the playlist of all the other large gift bags and the fold flat gift bags. I tend to always make mine fold flat um, because See, it's nice to store them away and then we've got our supplies ready for when we need them. So, hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. I'll share all the links to the supplies in the video description below. Please give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.